Hey guys, my name is Sidney Ack and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. What we are looking at right now is what we created last episode. Our expansion, believe it or not, into Canada. Where we've now created this beautiful little wood run. I have two stations, but only re well, in reality I only have one train. Because uh, that's all I could afford. But we're now able to collect wood, bring it all the way down... And the way we've set this line up is to utilize many, many stops that we're going to be creating to, for the end result, to produce machines. Bring all the wood down, to drop it off to turn it into planks, to then bring the planks back up and drop them off here as we go and collect the wood. Now, all it's missing is for me to bring the steel over, which requires iron ore and coal, uh, to then produce the machines, to distribute it along with the food that we're creating over in Kansas, over here, uh, to many of the eastern cities that require machines and food. Now, if you are enjoying this series, guys, and want to see more, then make sure you smash the like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But today, we're going to try and hopefully complete uh, the ability to produce machines. Now, our Pittsburgh steel plant over here requires two things, iron ore and coal. Now, the easiest way for me to get the iron ore, we've set it up where this also can be utilized for both industries, this stop here. Uh, coming down here, because eventually both of them products need to end up at the machines, is to have this continuation where we turn right for the wood, we continue going straight ahead, we're going to do a nice little bridge that crosses just here, and then we're going to collect iron ore from over here, and, of course, all the way over here. Now, that's how we get the iron ore. The coal's a little bit more of a difficult scenario. We have three kind of coal mines just here, but they're within the mountains. So, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but not impossible. Throw enough money at the problem, you'll find a solution. So, once you start producing the steel, we're good to go, boys. We can then start producing the machines. So right now I've got 4.6 million big ones, or 4.4 million big ones in the bank right now. There's, there's two ways in which we can kind of look at it. We can utilize that money to grow that expansion line, or I could build or buy a few extra trains to kind of complete the wood route. Now, while investing in the trains will make me more money in the long run, uh, I'm going to have to wait for even more money before I can build anything else. So it's kind of a tough uh, situation. Oh, we've just unlocked a train right now, which can do 47 miles an hour. That's actually quite a game changer right there. That really is. So pull into play mode then. Let the trains do their things. Uh, recently in the previous year, if we check the charts right now, we are making more money than what we're spending. But I have spent quite a bit recently on expansions. So easy, Saniac. Easy right now. <laughs> uh, so then let's figure this out then. So I want to come to both of these. Now to save some money, right? The, I mean, the downside of what I did is I built this one over here. We even though we're not running a train right now. But to save some money, we'll only build to this iron mine until we have enough money to buy uh, additional trains to run to the furthest one. So we'll only start with this one to begin with. So what we need to do then, we need to set this up and we'll first start by building the road. Where does it connect to the building? Is it just here? Yes. So I'm going to build the road there to create its connection and that's where I'm then going to build the train station. So buildings, cargo, go for the biggest length one, and then rotati this. So I'm not going to place down or add additional train tracks in because it adds platforms and stuff like that. I want to kind of add it in myself. But if I drop this in just here, I'm just going to edit this whole station altogether because we can do what we did in the other ones. We're going to have the, the line that stops against the platform where it picks up the goods. And then we have two bypassing lines for the train going to the other station further down uh, the road. Uh, and that's pretty much how we're going to set it up. So this is going to be identical, just slightly flipped version of uh, this uh, station over here. Where we've got the line and where it turns in to pick the goods up and come back out. And then the straight bypassing the station routes, which mimics this. But obviously we have platforms on both sides. So that's what the whole gist of that is. So once we got that in, we're going to sort out then the how we kind of connect to it with the actual tracks itself. So if I bring this out, uh, actually we got to make sure it snaps. There we go. And bring this one out as well. Now it's only really this one that's going to kind of merge in. So we'll bring that to there. We'll actually bring these a little bit further out again. All right, there's the snap. Because then we just got to do the crisscross. 
So crisscross will take place just here. And then make sure we get it in the same place on this side. Very good, boys. So that crisscross works out then for, um, you know, if you have another platform, obviously when they pull into this station, they're going to switch over to the opposite side of the tracks. Just kind of covers us. Uh, pretty sweet. So we got to get this then all the way up to here to cross over there. So we'll build the bridge first and how we're going to do this. So we'll start by doing obviously our one line going across. And how does this kind of look? So I'll bring it in a bit more so it's kind of elevated a bit better. Now I don't know if I'm going to be using boats around here. To be honest with you, there's not really anywhere the boat's going to go apart from Chicago. I mean they could come down the river, but I don't know how I don't know the size difference for a, I don't know if they actually can get boats going down there. I don't know if that that river's wide enough. Is that the Mississippi? I'm going to assume it is. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section down below. But this is our bridge, right? And we I don't know if we have a few variations on which I can build. I can do No, I've only really got this one. So let's confirm that. And then of course, we need to make sure that we run uh, another one parallel to it. And there we go, so confirm that. And that's our both directions straight over. So then we'll bring this out as... Oh, there's a snap. Now the difference is when you um, you kind of build it in longer segments, you get the elevation. It kind of tries to keep it all level. So if I do it in segments... Where's the snap? There we go. Not only is it a lot cheaper, but it just gets a little bit easier to maintain. So we just want to do a nice little sweet little bend there. Nothing too crazy. And then run this all the way down to over here. So that train track is now all set up. The trains were scheduled down. There's not much of an elevation change. It's all gradual. So the train should be pretty fine. They'll go across the bridge. And... Is this the border from Canada again into the United States? I'm not 100% sure. But all I've got to do right now is get these guys connected up. So bring in this again further down. So we'll bring it to there. Again, you build it in smaller segments because if the elevation does start to change quite dramatically, we can kind of counteract it. Like if I went from there to here, that's going to do a nearly a million and it's going to include a tunnel. And that's exactly what I don't want. So bring in this further up. So we'll go to here. I mean, it's starting to slice now into a little bit of land. So the snap is just there. Bringing this further up as well. And just looking at the, the topography, just kind of as you kind of glance across it. I think it's most hilly the, the, the closer you get to it. So I still think we're okay until we need to bend for now. So we'll go to here, and then this is where we'll start the bend. So we've kind of kept in a straight line quite considerably. And it's now just how... So if I wanted to do a snap there, 200 and... Do you know what? That's actually not too bad. I wouldn't mind paying that. So I've pretty much built all of this cheaper than that one line with a tunnel. There we go. So this one's cheaper because we've already kind of um, terraformed quite a bit of it. So there we go. We're now technically connected, believe it or not. We're now technically connected and we can do the run, but I've got to do a couple of signals and stuff first. So we've got the crisscross happening, which is exactly what we need it to do. We're going to drop the signals down right now, and we'll try and space these out a little bit more than we've done previously. One, to save a bit of cash, and for you guys to stop screaming at me in the comment section. I get it, okay? I like to place many down. <laughs> Uh, it's a hard, it's a hard um, habit to kind of, you know, stop. It's really weird. <laughs> I like signals, okay, guys. I like signals. So just over here, we'll do one on the bend. Why not? Right, get into here and to here. We'll do last ones here. Then I'm going to assume before the old Chrissy Crossy. And that's how we'll leave it. That's pretty much how we'll leave it. So, not as... I mean, you could probably still argue there's quite a few there, but not as many as I would normally do, okay? I'm changing, guys, okay? I'm changing. Right, that's now all in. So all I've got to do is now set the route up. Now, the great thing about it is... Um, 
And it's quite an interesting one. I mean, it won't work with the trains, but in reality, when these guys pick up the planks... That's as fast as that train goes, by the way. Um, they could also pick up the uh, the steel, but I don't think you can fit steel on that. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. But let's create this route. Actually, before I do, if I go to build a train... Now, we need to pick up ore and steel. So I have a feeling, in terms of cargo, the ore goes into the... No. Does it go into the flats with stakes? Ah, see, that might be a slight issue. Well, we can use the gondolas to drop off the oars. Not saying I want a separate train, but some of those trains might need to pick up some of this. Unless I use the wheat trains to drop off the steel. Hmm. I'm in a little bit of a predicament right now. But anyway... Let's just focus on what we're doing first. I can have a separate train that only one train runs. It depends on how much demand you really want to kind of squeeze into it. So if I start down here then. Now, right now, we're not going to have the ability for the ore train to stop there and drop off some goods. I could, but it does then require me placing a, an additional carriage to it. That's in reality not going to make any sense. Ooh, but then we've got this over there, but then that's pushing the boundaries. But that could run in the same run, but again, pushing boundaries. Uh, so I'm going to have to, to do all down to here to also pick up steel to bring up to there. I'm going to have to have the train split. But what I could do is have our or, uh, our kind of um, wood train, our forestry train, bring some steel in too. And eventually when it gets a bit too more demanding, I'll have a sim one simple train going back and forth. So this is going to be a simple back and forth right now. So I'm in Pittsburgh here. It simply unloads uh, the iron ore. And then in Chicago, Illinois. Is that the accent for Chicago? I don't know. It loads the iron ore. So it's not really the best runs. It's not really the best way to kind of do that. Until we figure out something here. But it's not the end of the world anyway. It's not the end of the world. I won't be producing steel anyway until we get coal going over there. So that's now built, believe it or not. That is now built, so I reckon... Let me just double check to make sure that we're on different platforms as well. So the Pittsburgh one... We'll change it to platform... Um, wait, it should already be on platform one. Four? Three? Oh, it is. You just can't see it because of the color. <laughs> uh, I mean, I did get the mod that allows me to do more colors, but you, in reality, you cannot see what's going down. Um, can I change the color of this? How do I change, manage the line? Oh, the color's right in front of my face here. Right. That's... Iron ore, so we'll do orange. This is going to be wood, so we'll do brown. That's also wood, so we'll do brown. And then these are food roots, so we'll do this light color and then that light color. These are my bus and my train route over there. I really need to rename them as well. I really do. Right, okay, that's now all set up then. So let's buy the first train for it. So buy a vehicle. And if I go to now Steam, because that's all we, in reality we got. We use this train here for the, the wood run, which has a top speed of 28, uh, because this one originally had 25. But now we can buy one that does 47. But what's the difference in price? It's, uh, say, so running up to 80. Um, it's three times more expensive to, to run. But it's one and a half times quicker. Almost. So, would the, offs the offset in how much it can... But then again, also the power it's got can also push and carry a lot more carriages. Alright, let's just see how expensive it's going to be, one of these trains. Or I just kind of go down to the Baldwin class. 
Um, okay, so cargo wise, we're gonna need gondolas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have a capacity of seventy. I can afford it. <laughs> but is it a good business decision? Um, it's gonna have to be. Because guess what? I just bought it. So line five on the way. So now for the first time, right, this whole line now has an additional train on. This is already starting to uh, place all the goods on the platform, which is good to see. And we should get the nice little crisscrossing happening. So the orange line, the ore line, uses the bypass on this station. So if that train is waiting here, this one goes choo-choo straight past. All right, great stuff. Okay, so that will now start making the money for me. It'll take a while to kind of come back. We'll have a little bit of a fast forward to get that train out of there. But it's going to be so much faster. It's going to be so much faster. So we'll be able to do the route a whole lot quicker. It's not even at max speed right now. Which eventually I will switch out all my other trains to be making them a little bit faster too. But it's at 31 right now. So now it's on a little bit of a straight section. Would it go a bit faster? Or are they limited to what these train tracks can ultimately do? Or is that just the limit because of the amount of carriages we have? I mean, if that's the case, the, the other one would have been a lot slower with the amount of carriages we would have had on. I don't know if there's an actual speed limit to the, these tracks, is there? Standard, uh, with, I mean, how do you know about the speed limit? I don't know. But, um, yeah, off that we'll go right now and make some money. This train over here is only doing 22, so it's doing, that one's doing 10 miles an hour faster. Which don't seem like a lot, but when you do the distances that they're covering, it makes a huge difference. This train here might fully load up and then be all the way back, right, and unloaded. I wouldn't say before that one gets there, but it will get there, it will be right up its booty on the way back, just letting you know. So let that do what it's got to do then, because my next kind of issue and gamble now is bringing the coal from here. Now, we could drive it, but I don't want to do that. I want to carry it in bulk. So, like I said earlier, if you spend enough money on a problem, you'll end up with a solution. And that solution and problem is just to throw money at terraforming. Not terraforming it, but trying our best to get a train track going through. Now, there's a few... Because I'm always trying to think of, like, a step ahead. Right? I'm always trying to think of a step ahead. Eventually, right, this little bend here will be straight on, and that will just kind of come off like it comes off just there. As we then funnel machines down to many of the cities down south. Uh, so if this came down, at some point, we also need to get the goods over to here. So as it comes down and continues, what if we had an, an, like a, 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 v con a YV connection, we even want to call it just there, that then went through here as a tunnel and then popped out there, which will then connect to another line that goes all the way down. If that was the case, I could do something with trying to ultimately set this up and get the coal runs on it as well. Yeah. Um, Alright, so that train is now on the way. This train is now scheduling down, which is doing 31. This one's doing 25. So, I thought it was going to be right up its booty. Okay, maybe I was slightly wrong, slightly off, but we'll get to see how much money it now makes. So I've got to wait then before we can do any, any of these expansions until we've got some big cash coming in. So this is going to drop off right now with a full load. And we're going to make... Uh, is it like a million dollars we make? Yes. Not bad, not bad. Loads back up. Nice, 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 nice. And then this one coming in. I want to see how this one much makes. Because, I mean, you could argue... You could argue it's further away to in terms of the building. But this line's a lot longer because of the natural way that we built it. I could have kind of brought it down here. Well, it's this building we're talking about. Like down here, it's a bit shorter. But I wanted it all to be on the same line. So, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how this kind of goes. So, let's just find out how much this makes. Because I've got a million in the bank right now, which will then start funding my next expansion to bring the coal over. All right. Come on, train. I'm playing the waiting game. Let's go. Choo-choo. <laughs> Choo-choo. So this is the first time it's dropping this off, then. 
And like I said previously, we'll have multiple trains doing this at some, at some point. Uh, one point, nearly 1.7 million. Not bad. So that is the most money I've generated in a single year so far. Look how much I spent to build it though. <laughs> and the previous year. Whoa. It's expensive, this, this whole transport game, isn't it, guys? It's expensive. So let's think about this then and what I can do. In reality, I, I probably don't want to do a tunnel because it depends on how we're going to be connecting to it. That's the reality of it. Um, or it can be a tunnel, but my connections are going to be... I won't say slightly off, but they're only going to be also going in one direction. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So if I was to build, let's just say... Uh, zoom into build. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> that's as, that just shows you how big this is. That I I didn't realize I was that far zoomed out. Wow. So is that that's that's a tunnel for two point eight million. I don't think building a tunnel is the right thing to do at the minute. That's kind of annoying because the way I want to do this. Is via train right okay let's think about this logically then right if I somewhat I mean the other thing is is to build it in stages because look at this I've got to here and it's only now tunneling it does tunnel quite a bit there so do I build it in stages and segments but then again I gotta build a second one because I need it in going in both directions Yikes, this is quite long. Right, if I was to smoothen the area off. And let's go for a, a, big, a bigger brush size. Holy sm... I just spent half a million in smoothing. Just like that. Yeah, that's not cost effective. That is not cost effective right now. Right, it's doing double bridge, uh, double tunnels, and it's going to come out just here for three hundred thousand. Now I could sink it further down as one tunnel, or keep it like that for three hundred. I've got to make the investment because I've got big plans for this this corridor. So I'm going to do that just there. So it'd be kind of cool to see the little tunnels every so often because you'll see the smoke coming out, which would be quite cool. Right, bridge or no bridge? I kind of like the idea of the bridge. And then we've got to kind of come down. So I could... I got the option of just making it go completely... Sh oh my goodness me. Of it make, making it go completely straight. Why is it now decide... Hold on, let me delete this. It's very heavily deciding to go uphill. So if I started to bend it and then bring it down quite a bit, at some point that will then become a tunnel. Oh my goodness me, guys. This is going to be... This is going to be some serious, and I mean serious, pressure on the engines. But this is the cheapest way for me to do it. This really is the cheapest way for me to do it. Right, cancel that, and then delete back. Uh, so it's all about smaller segments rather than large. Small segments. Because we are naturally coming down a mountain when she comes. Alright, there we go. Now this, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest with you right now. This is going to be a placeholder route. 
this route will not remain. It's not until I've got enough money that I can build a better run through this that I'm having to do this mountain style system. Hmm. Right. Okay. All right, let's put it back into play mode. So we've had to kind of navigate going up the hill to push ourselves all the way through to kind of continue to go down. So it gives us, you know, a decent amount of access. Now the next question is, right, I, I can see this coming down and then connecting to the T here. But because this is my placeholder route, I'm just going to do a little bend coming out to kind of skadoodle up. And you know what the other crazy thing is as well that I haven't really gave much for? I've got to do an additional train track on the opposite side. Right, you can slightly raise this to uh, counter for the elevation change and not terraform as much. Alright, get to there. Only spend 200,000. And then we're going to start the bend to come in. It's only really going to drop the coal off. That's, in reality, all it's going to do. So, if I place the ye old bend coming out just here... And I build the exact same thing just there. We just need to get these now all connected. So, bam. And then we're now running another one going in that way. So, what I'm building right here is completely 100% a temporary route. I can't express this as, as more as I'm doing right now. It's just a really, really cheap way for me to be able to bring coal straight into there and we'll utilize both of them but i'm only going to use the one to begin with like we've done with the ore just for us to start making some money now it would do the crisscross when it gets down to here so that's perfectly fine perfectly fine i've just now got to run this up and you could argue well you could do the exact same it's you don't need two lines you could do the same thing anyway i right, bring this all the way up Okay, I just want to play ball. Alright, here we go, boys. Here we go. Up and around. So it shouldn't cost us much, because we've already done the hard work. We've already done the hard work. Alright, bringing this right down. Bam. Okay. I'm not proud of it. But you understand why I'm doing it. <laughs> it all comes down to cash. Okay, so. With that said. We have the most simplistic and basic routes now set up. So, eventually, this line will continue to go down. Then we'll create a proper line that comes in that, that V's here. Like how this is going to V. Uh, here. Well, that will run straight through. It will be set up correctly. Which will then V to the run that goes down here. And then we're all intertwined and connected. But I won't do that as a whole tunnel. And this is just the best I can do. I don't even know how... Do you know what? The amount of my trains are going to struggle is going to be unreal. Okay, so let's spend the money here. I should really spend it on flattening, shouldn't I? Is this the flatten tool? Oh, dear God. That was expensive. Right, that was super expensive. All to get an end platform in. So, end cargo terminus. All the way around. And they want how much? <laughs> they want how much? A million because of the elevation. Now, I could shorten it. But it means it's not going to hold as much on the platform. Right, what if I angled it instead? 
See, by angling it, I've shaved off 300,000. Right, we'll go to there for the angle. Because you also need to be wary of the height that this is at to the drop it needs to get to. I don't think this was a good idea. <laughs> Look at the height difference right now. Like, in what world is this working? In what world is this working? It's not working. That is the answer. I'm deleting it. It's not working. So the next the next thing I could do to make it a lot more easier and cheaper for me is just bring a road out. Okay? Bring a road out that kind of does go downhill. And how far can I, I build said train station? That connects to it. So you lose the connection just here. So building that then here still connects to it. And now we don't have the height issue. We no longer have the height issue. It's not pretty. But these are the real issues we are facing. So bringing that just to there, and then we'll do we'll start from here, just to here, because it, it's only a singular lane station. We bring that just like that. So the crisscross. I don't need a crisscross, do I? Because that's an end uh, platform. There, it comes back out this way. There's no crisscross required. So that is, it's painful to watch, it's painful to see, but this is just the things your boy has to do right now. So if I add a new line, which is going to go from here to here, which we'll keep, uh, no, we'll, we'll make it grey, like a, a light greyish there, to symbol the coal. Black would be oil. Uh, there we go. So in Charlotte uh, here, we are going to make sure that it only loads up the coal. And in Pittsburgh, it only then unloads the coal. Beautiful. So let's make sure that it also goes on the correct platform here, which in Pittsburgh would be number two. So we now have a platform for each one. Great. So let me just now, I mean, even though it's got the line all sort out, we will need to add the signals on. I could kind of get away with not doing it at the minute because I'm only going to have one train running on this line, aren't we? I'm only really going to have one train running on the line, but the OCD and me can't, can't handle it. So, in a little bit of debt right now, but what we've just created is glorious. Eventually, this whole system will be set up better. <laughs> <laughs> when I can terraf terraform a bit more, we'll terraform this a bit better for this connection and whatnot. Uh, and this one over here might be a little bit easier, but, you know, it's never easy. It's never easy at the end of the day. This is all I can literally afford to do. So wait for these two trains to make their way down. Um, I do need to configure this to the doubled laned system. So trains coming both ways, like this train here doesn't have to wait for this one to leave. It can also then stop off on the opposite side of the platform. So yeah, this is all stuff I've got to do and also maybe increase those capacity of those trains. Right then, so two trains coming down, which collectively it's 2.7 million. That will have an income, which will then fund uh, the signals and the potential purchasing of a new train. Which, to be honest with you, this doesn't actually link in. The the depot here. I don't want to build a new depot. So what I'll have to do 
and I ain't got the money to do it, is just kind of have a train track come and connect this way so it can go in, stop in first, and then make its way back. Uh, but it's all coming down to money at the end of the day, guys. It's all coming down to money. So once we've got that set up, then, we will be producing steel. And then my plank train for now, just for now, will take the steel to the plant. It's stopping there anyway with the wood. And it obviously won't have a full load of planks. So, you know, it should work out. It should work out. So drop off the goods. Get the monies. Let's build this then. So coming off here, I just need to switch it into... Into there. Alright. We need then to build the signals. And I'll try and do this more sparingly as well. See, these are more spaced out, guys. I don't know what you're talking about right now. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. These are more spaced out. These could be too spaced out. Oh, he's a changed man, I see. He's a changed man, I see. There we go. He's a changed man. <laughs> right, once I can afford a train, we'll drop one in. We'll drop one in once I can afford a train. Because that's going to be like, what, 3.8 million I'm going to need for that? Yeah. Yes, it is. So while we're waiting then, let's set up that uh, wood run. Which will be this one here. I know there's two set up, but we really, really can... Uh, can, we, can I edit both of them? No. So when it picks up from Pittsburgh here, when it unloads the wood and then loads the planks... We'll also get to load the steel, and then when it gets to Detroit, it will then also unload the steel. And I'll set this up for the Line 4 as well, because it pretty much does the exact same thing. I just don't have a train on it at the minute. All right, there we go. Line 4, so... Um, load the steel, and then in Detroit, unload the steel. So, another way to make additional money... Because when you think about it in, in reality, it's like two, two wood create a plank. So even though it comes with a full load of wood, it will leave with half a load of planks. So that half a load of space left available for now will pick up the steel and drop it off. All because it has the same carriages and I ain't got to buy additional carriages or additional train. Yay me. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Right, I've got to sort this out as well. So... I'm hoping it's not too much money to do this, but the quicker, the, the, you know, the, the the better I do this, the uh, the more likely, the more money we're gonna make because the trains keep stopping, and that's not good. I could be making so much more money. So that's now got a double platform. So what we have to do then is the train track needs to run directly in which you can't get it to run directly in so we're gonna have to quickly pause the game to make this deletings deletings and because this is a simple back and forth run there's no other train coming on or off it uh, there's no need to do any crisscrossing because it's it's pretty standard and straightforward i'll add the signals in don't get me wrong i'll add some more signals in Let's add the last one just there. Right. So the reason for it is I ain't gonna do the crisscrossing. Is because they're not they're not stopping here to come out. You know, they might do Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Over here. And whatnot. It all depends on what platform they're on. But I don't need to do it. There's nothing bypassing. So as of right now, I don't need to add any more to it. So in reality, I haven't got to spend any more money than I need to. But I just got to make sure that this line here, which is line one, when it goes from Minneapolis to Kansas, so Minneapolis to Kansas, to Kansas and when it comes back to then Kansas City here, it needs to be on the other platform. So you can see right now, it comes down on the right. And when it goes in, when it comes down on the left, it stops on the opposite side of the, of the platform here, thus allowing us 
to have two trains stop at this station. Obviously, you can't get two trains at different one because the way it naturally kind of, you know, is is basically an, an end line. But this should be a way in which we continue to make money faster and have trains have to wait. Fingers crossed, anyway. Fingers crossed. There's actually quite a lot here as well. So what we're storing right now, we, it, we're on the way to, you know, distributing this food at some point. Uh, right then, so waiting for all this money to now come in. Waiting for lots of money to come in. And as you can see right now, there's two trains on the way down. There's this train on the left here, this train on the right. So they will, they should both now unload at simultaneously around the same time, whereas one of the trains previously would have had to wait for the other one to unload and then completely exit the station. So we, we, we're doing, we killing two birds with one stone, as they say. And then walking away with double monies. So you unload, a train comes in and unloads. Boom. Cash in the bank. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Which means I'm going to add even more trains on that route if I wanted to, but I'm most likely just going to upgrade them so they're quicker and carry more. Because more trains becomes more traffic. Right. Ores coming in. Cha-ching. 3.2 million. And we're now just waiting for the wood. And then, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, I can afford the coal train. So, how's the route down here doing, anyway? Um, if I go to manage the vehicles, select them all, and replace them. There's still, really, at the minute, nothing to really replace them to. I'm gaining the difference of an extra one mole an hour and one additional capacity. It's not worth spending the half a million almost needed to do that. So we can kind of hold out on that. These platforms still have quite a lot of uh, food on. So is this this is getting, getting a considerable amount of goods, but not enough to make it a decent amount of production just yet. Right, okay then. So we're waiting for this wood train to come in, which will then fund it. So we might as well get this all up and running. So buy a vehicle. And steam... I'm going to go for this one, the same as what we did previously. And then for cargo, we need 10 of the gondolas. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Oh, it's actually not 3.8. It's 3.5 million. So I'll quickly buy that while I've got the money, which is line 6. So that train has to now come out to go into the station to then come back out to take its turn to go round. So depending on how this is now going to work out with the unload and load, this will be interesting seeing two trains almost come into the uh, station together. So that loads up and is now on the way out as this one's coming in. So no issues, no problems, because that would have to kind of come down and then crisscross just there. Can't really do any signals for it because the way it's all set up. So that now turned around to go back. We should start having coal loading up over here, which there's more than enough for it to now collect. The only issue is, with the with the slight gradient increase in heights, is the speed of the train. The only thing I've got going for me is, it goes up this hill, unloaded, but it goes up this hill, loaded. I would say that this is a shorter hill, this is a longer gradient hill. Oh, I don't know how it's going to work out, but um, I would like to hope it makes a million on each run. And then our wood train is going to be making some serious dollar bills because it's going to carry the steel over to here. And then we're actually producing, we're actually going to be producing machines. Oh my God, this is exciting. Okay, so it's now just a little bit of a waiting game. It's now just a little bit of a waiting game. So these trains are doing us justice. They're doing pretty fine. Um, just let them do what they've got to do. Oh, do you know what? Is it running? I mean, I'm not going to say it's running out of food, but... There is a slight dent it's taken out of there. Same with this one. I'm not saying we come to the limit of how much food we can distribute, but having that now be able to drop on both platforms is kind of slightly thrown off. Our current farms and how much they can now... But then again, the shipment should increase. In reality. 
These are getting their goods, so at some point we should think about distributing the food. Oh, it's all very exciting. It's all it's all go now, guys. It's all go now. Uh, but I could also implement a few more runs to bring more food in, if worst case scenario. Because I can do like a little bit of a plus. So we can have a route go up to here and stop there. A route come down to here and stop there. Using the same trains. So it'll kind of come down to here. To go there to there. To go there to there. Then there to there. And then there. So they, they kind of create their own little plus system route. So same trains and the same routes carrying the same goods. You know, it'll be interesting. Right, here we go, guys. We're now fully loaded. It's doing 19 miles an hour. I want to see what it what it kind of what the peak is in terms of speed. So it's at 13. 13, is that the lowest it gets to? No, 12. Right, we're almost at the peak. So 12 was its lowest. It might get some serious speed on the way down. <laughs> Oh my good god, it is getting some serious speed. I mean, can I go to 31? I'm going to assume that's down to the train tracks. I don't know. But, um, off it goes. Off it goes. So, the ore's just been dropped in. So, does it have any ore right now? It does have a lot of ore in, so it will start producing steel straight away. The wood train's slowly on its way back. I might just manage this vehicle and just uh, edit it to replace it with the new one. Just so it makes it a little bit faster. I need 1.3 million though. Right, what does this make over here? Where is the train? Here's the train. We're going to try and use our spider powers right now to see how much it makes just here. Come on. Come on. How much does it make, boys? Right, coming in. Just under a million. Again, that's exactly what I said I wanted, doesn't it? So if I upgrade this then, I've now implemented a new engine on the front of the wood train. So it will be a lot quicker. It's now starting to produce the steel, guys, on the platform. Oh, we've got actual vehicles right now. This might be a way in which we change in the, uh, the food run over in Florida. So now I'm just waiting for this train to make its way all the way down. So it's going to half fill up with wood and then half fill up with steel. This is exciting. The upgrades we've done, man. This is crazy. All right, we're just waiting for this to now approach. And it would all be placed in the same right now, so it's all good. So this will work for, for, for some time. Until we start adding more capacity and more imports on this whole system. But that's now coming in. So I'm interested to find out how much it actually makes dropping the goods off at the uh, Ford GM plant. So it picks it all up. And believe it or not, guys, it's only one short on the steel. <laughs> so that's almost a full load. So that's now going to drop it off at Ford GM. For the first time ever. And it won't produce any machines because we haven't set a, a route up for the machines. But this is the, the this is the, the start. This is the start, guys. So everything goes to there. Now this is uh so you have the like the, the tier one product delivered. Then this is classed as tier two, and then the goods that come out of this is tier three products. So even though it's a short distance, the value of them on, on them is a lot different. So this could be the most this could be the most profitable train out of everything, the most profitable vehicle that I own now, with the current one that's kind of set up for it. How much did it make? It didn't pop up. Did you see that, guys? It never popped up. All right, finances. I'm not sure what it made. I'm not sure, but. That's been its most profitable year to date. It really has. Right, okay. Things are looking up for us, guys. So, the only thing I would now recommend myself doing is increasing the capacity on these lines with a few additional trains. Uh, this is set up beautifully, but the way that we're now emptying 
these uh, these farms means that I'm I need to spread out how quick they now enter. So this kind of balanced it nice, but now I've kind of let made them slip through. So I might create a little plus system where they'll also take from over here and from over here, thus giving us the the ability to kind of fill these platforms up for every time a train does arrive. But technically, I can now distribute the food and I can now distribute the machines. Doesn't matter how much I produce, I now have the ability to do so. So this is quite exciting. <laughs> it is quite exciting, isn't it? I'm really, I'm quite happy about this. So what we'll have to do then is we'll have to think about setting up a system and how we distribute the goods. It could be we take all the machines and foods to a localized plant that then distributes it individually to each kind of city. Or we leave it as it is and now focus on building some passenger routes because the passenger routes for trains will give me the ability to have a connection to the individual cities that will then eventually allow me to then bring the goods via train to them. So swings and roundabouts, I'm not entirely sure what the best option for me to go about would be right now. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, can I afford now to upgrade all of these horse and carts? So if I go to replace the vehicles where they did 11 miles an hour for four capacity, they now could do 60 miles an hour for six capacity. So carries two more a lot quicker for 700,000. I'm going to spend that investment. But it then is going to mean that these platforms here could potentially need slightly expanding. So we'll add two on each one. So there's always goods then available when it gets distributed. And we'll do the same over on this one. So by that logic, we have hopefully now increased the amount of money that this line is also going to be making. And then by that logic, again, um, we should be having some of the most profitable years to date, right? When's that next train coming in? That's going in that way. There's a train coming down this way. So when you look at this right now, the year before, which 5.58, 5. Point, oh, no, it's this one here. 5.91 million is the most profitable year we've had. So it all comes down to timings to when stuff gets dropped off versus um, when the year ends. But th as these goods now get dropped in, is this the wood or the... Uh, yes, this is the wood. So that would take in the steel and the planks back as well in just a minute. So does this go back fully loaded, by the way? It's missing one on each. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, we're now up to on this... Oh, we missed it that year. So that year kind of slightly ended for us. And that turned out to be 5.34. So definitely more than what we're making. This year should break the records with the way it's kind of now fallen. There's a train on the way back over here. The train's on the way back over there. Um... It, the only downside is, is is this system because now all of a sudden that I am going to assume some of these trains are not going to be fully loaded. There's okay. There's enough on that platform for it to be sent off, but that train coming in here is not filled up to the brim, so you're kind of losing a little bit of cash just there. But it is what it is. It's only been a month, two months, and we're almost halfway to the previous year. So yeah, that just shows you the money's definitely coming in. And this line over here, so even though it's only been like a like a, a few moments of us running the new vehicles, it was very consistent. Then all of a sudden, we now start to get bigger numbers because we can obviously carry a whole lot more. So as it comes in, we're dropping off the goods. From the left side, we make the right side nine grand, left side seven grand. Look at it, it's jumping up. Good investments, boys. Good investments. So, yeah, let me know what you think my game plan should be next, guys, in the comment section down below. But until next time, I will end it for here. We'll see you all soon. So good.